What's up everybody, got a quick video here to share with all of you on how you can rotate a video in Windows 10 on your computer or on your laptop, wherever you're running Windows 10, real quick and easy and free using the built-in Photos app. Now, what happened to me was I took a GoPro out four-wheeler riding and when we came back, we pulled the video off the GoPro, put it on the Windows computer and come to find out that everything was upside down. So as you can see, there's me riding four-wheelers video was completely upside down and I just wanted a quick way to fix that without you know having to do it with expensive software or something like that so real quick I'll show you how to do it so on your computer you want to go down to your taskbar in the lower left corner once you're down there you want to right click on that little window little windows icon right click on that and go to search and what you're looking for is the photos app so you just type in photos and scroll you should be able to scroll up to the top let me minimize that you're looking for this app right here called photos so once you click that and open it then you're going to get this screen here and what you want to do from here is at the top it says video editor what you want to do is select this that says video editor and then select new video project and then what we're going to do is you can name it or you could skip it. I'll just leave it, say new video, click OK. And then what we want to do is from there, you click the icon here that says add. And then from where it's going to basically, if I choose from this PC, it's just going to browse to the file. So click from this PC and then over here, wherever your file is, locate your video file. Mine is on, mine's not in downloads or videos, mine's in the desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and then click open. And what that's going to do is it's going to add it in there and load it up. So from this point on, there's also something else here called a storyboard. It says place and storyboard. You want to go ahead and select that and that's going to load it over here on this side. So down here, there are some tabs that you can choose. You have to add it to the storyboard in order to get these tabs to allow you to be clickable. Otherwise, they're going to be grayed out. And I'll zoom in on this one right here. Right here's the rotate tab. So all I got to do is click this rotate a couple of times to get that video upright and then if i scroll forward you can see then it's all upright and now when i play it it's in the proper correct orientation so now from this point on at the top it says finish video because all you, unless you want to edit it or work with it you can actually do some editing within this program as well using those tabs but when you're all done you just want to flip it and get it processed again what you want to do is click this up here and export it this is going to finish the video and of course i just leave it selected for high 1080p and then you just want to choose export and then wherever it exports to looks like it's going to put it i'm actually just going to have it put it back on my desktop Desktop. So I'm going to choose desktop over here and then choose export and then it may take depending on the size of your video I don't know mine was like I can look I think it was three point so something gig for that file So we'll find out once it's done exporting here So when it's done it will pop up and then you will get this video playing like that So I'm gonna go ahead and move this thing out of the way and then over here on the desktop is my new mp4 file and if I go ahead and click on that new file and I scoop forward, you can see now everything is in the proper orientation and the video completely flipped. So now you can work with the video or watch a video and enjoy it, whatever you want to do. And here's the old one. I'll click on that. It's still, of course, upside down. I pretty much save all my stuff, so I'll save the new one and the old one. 3.72 gig is the size of my original file. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you guys. Again, it's a free way to do this. And down here, I haven't spent a lot of time with the Photos app myself, but you can change the speed, add effects, you know, and do some basic stuff with the file. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and share it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.